Hello YouTube, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are doing understanding European soccer in four simple steps. You guys highly recommend this one. I can obviously tell my knowledge of soccer is not that high because I only watch highlights. I obviously don't learn much about actually the rules of soccer from highlights. I know when a good highlight is a good highlight. I know the objective of soccer. One team has to get the ball in the goal. The other team has to stop the team from getting the ball in the goal. But I don't really know the rules. I don't know you know what's a penalty I don't know anything like that so hopefully but in this four minute video I will become better educated than I was you know back when I reacted to all those other soccer videos but anyway this is just the beginning of my soccer reaction videos and things like that I have a huge list of soccer players and you guys re recommended them you guys love them and I love it too so hopefully you guys enjoy this video to understanding soccer in Europe in four simple steps, a guide for Americans. Although from the outside it may seem complex and confusing, to understand how soccer works in Europe, you really only need to know four things. Okay, four Number things. One, each country has its own soccer league. Seasons run from August to May, in which I each team knew this plays actually. every other team twice, once at home and once on the road. Games are divided into two 45 minute halves, and when the game is over, the winner is awarded three points, the loser zero, and in the event of a tie, each team gets one point. After each team has played all the other teams twice, the team with the most points is crowned champion of the league. They get a big trophy, a parade, and the season is over. There are no playoffs. Sort of. But more on that in a minute. Before the books are closed on the season, there is still one small bit of housekeeping to be done. Number two, relegation. We'll use the German League as an example. Every year, when the German League has concluded and the champion has been crowned, the three teams with the least amount of points are kicked out of the league. This process is known as relegation. Ouch. The three vacant spots are subsequently filled by the top three teams from Germany's second division. And unlike, say, baseball in the US, teams in the second and subsequent divisions are not owned by teams in the top division. Imagine if the Pittsburgh Pirates or Oakland Raiders had to fight at the end of each season just to stay in the league. What if instead of coasting to the bottom for better draft picks, they were fighting to the bitter end to avoid the $40 million revenue loss that relegated teams suffer in the first year alone? Not to mention the fact that in England, Nine different teams have gone financially insolvent within five years of relegation. Okay, interesting enough, you're thinking. But what about that whole lack of playoffs part? Number three. Each country also holds an elimination style what was rule number two? referred to as a cup. But instead of being held after the nine-month league is over, cup games are scheduled in between league games, normally in the middle of the week. One additional perk about the cup system is that teams from all levels, down to semi-professional and even some amateur teams, are invited to play. And if they do well, can progress, and occasionally even knock off a top team. So every year, these midweek elimination games continue until there are only two teams left who play each other in the cup final. After 90 minutes, a cup champion is crowned, they get a trophy and a parade. So between the league and cup games, we get a great picture of who the best and worst teams in each country are. But wait a second, you ask? What would confused. happen if the best teams from each country in Europe all got together and played each other? Good idea. Number four. The resulting competition is called the UEFA Champions League, and it is without a doubt the single greatest club competition of any sport anywhere in the world. Period. I saw this logo before. Think of the NCAA tournament, but with better quality of play, more than double the fan base, and quadruple the enthusiasm. And yes, Europe even has their own version of the NIT as well. So, through a complex and drawn out process, teams from all over Europe compete just to qualify for this tournament. And starting each September, the top 32 teams are put into eight groups of four. Each team plays the other members of its group two times, once at home and once on the road. Come December, the winner and runner-up from each group move on to the knockout round. And this is where club soccer is at its finest. Teams are paired up individually and again play one home and one away game, with the winner from each pair moving on to the next round until only two teams remain. The Champions League final is then held as a single game each year in May. And unless it's the World Cup year, this is the most important soccer game of the year. After 90 minutes, a champion is crowned, the trophy I'm lost. is awarded, parades commence, and all clubs go on break until the madness fires back up again. So I get it. It's like a big so tournament. So to review, but... number one, each country has its own league. Number yes. two, the worst teams are kicked out of the league. Okay, I get those two, the best teams but the last next. two I don't get. Number three, throughout the year, each country also holds a playoff-type tournament called a cup. And number four, the UEFA Champions League is a tournament involving oh, all of Europe oh, this is, is the European most important competition in all of club soccer. I'm lost. I'm sorry. I'm lost. I actually 
thought I would know, you know, by the end of this video, I'd actually get a little help with the rules of soccer. I'll have to find a different video for that to react to. But European soccer, I had no clue. I understood the first two steps, but the last two, I had no clue. Every country holds. I don't. I don't know. I don't get that. What does that have to do with Champions League? And I know there's Premier League and Champions League. I never knew there was a German league. Is there a German league? I have no clue. Oh jeez, I'm lost. But isn't Champions League have like other leagues from other teams from different countries? Like I know Juventus is in Italy. I know isn't Barcelona in Spain? I don't know. I'm lost. I'm sorry. But uh. Yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you guys could explain a little down in the comments. That would be really appreciated. And I'll find a different video to react to soon. Actually, the rules of soccer, because that's what I really want to know. I really don't care for the you know Europe League right now. I'm just trying to basically know what are the actual rules of soccer. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you do want more, make sure to subscribe. I'm out, guys. Peace.